In this video, we're going to look at the primary reasons uh, for using T-beams. We'll start by looking at the cross-section of a typical reinforced concrete beam. Uh, if you remember, the capacity of this section uh, we find using our two forces, our compression force, uh, which is found from our compression block. So 0.85 F prime C, and we have a depth of A, and then our uh, st steel tension force is just ASFY. Um, so you can see that the only portion of the beam, or, or uh, of the concrete portion of the beam that's going to contribute to the, the our moment capacity um, is this section that I'm shading red. Uh, the rest of the concrete is only adding weight. So the rest of this concrete that I'm going to shade blue here um, only adds Uh, weight. So we could essentially remove it and have um, two sections that would have equivalent um, capacities. Uh, so with a T-beam, what we're doing is we're keeping the portion of the concrete that's going to remain in compression and contribute to the capacity, and we're eliminating the uh, portion of the concrete that's not contributing capacity. So all this um, section that I'm shading red that was concrete before we're removing so we're making a, a lighter section that's going to have a, a very similar capacity um, so now we can move uh, to the um, configuration that we'll find in a, a typical reinforced concrete um, building uh, where we'll have uh, slabs going in one direction so remember we have our slabs running in this direction and then our, our beam line uh, running in the other direction. Um, so this top flange then of our T-beam is made up uh, of this slab. So our, our top flange is our slab. So uh, since we already have a, a top flange, uh, we can just go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, so we can say that part of our slab is going to contribute to um, this beam to the left and part of it to the right. So you can see I'm going to outline in blue a T-beam uh, that's made up from our uh, one-way slab on beam system. Um, so then this T-beam uh, we can move forward and, and use in our analysis and uh, we can see that it, it's just naturally formed by our system um, and we eliminate the uh, excess uh, concrete so it, it makes a lighter beam um, that has the same capacity as a, a similar full rectangular beam with, with this width. Um, so you can see that a, a, a T-beam is a more efficient beam uh, that is found um, naturally in our, our typical one-way slab on, on beams uh, system.